Fork is a 2-6 player food chain trick-taking game from Sunrise Tornado Games, designed by Tate Wu, with illustrations by Lily Chin. Set up and gameplay varies slightly by player count, but in this video, I will explain how to play a two-player game. Each player is given three fox cards. The rest are returned at the box. Remove all swamp suit cards from the game. Also remove all two, four, and six numbered cards from the game. Place the terrain card in the middle of the table with the two-player side facing up. Shuffle the remaining cards and deal 13 to each player. All remaining cards are removed from the game. Players can review their cards before shuffling their 13 fork cards and the three fox cards to create a personal draw deck. Players then draw eight cards from their deck into their hand. The youngest player is the starting player for the first round. The start player alternates between players until the game ends. The object of the game is to score the most points. Points are scored by winning cards in rounds or tricks. Each round, players choose a card from their hand to be played and compared against the other player. Fork is a game about the food chain, and as such, certain cards are used to capture and score an opponent's card. Foxes are at the top of the food chain, followed by owls, then rabbits, and finally kale. These cards all interact with each other in unique ways. To begin a round, the start player chooses one of the terrain types indicated on the terrain card. This action indicates the active cards that must, if possible, be played from both players' hands. For instance, if the starting player chooses the desert, both players must play cards that match the desert suit, with the exception of the fox, which can be played at any time and is always considered to be part of the current active terrain. Once terrain is chosen, the start player chooses a card from their hand to play in front of them. The next player then does the same. The start player then chooses a second card, as does the other player, until both players have two cards in front of them. If a player doesn't have a card matching the active terrain, they may play any other card. Cards must be placed face down, with the exception of any Kale cards, which are played face up. When both players have made their choice, all cards are flipped face up and scoring for the round begins. Tricks are resolved from the highest number card to the lowest in the following order. Foxes are resolved first. However, if more than one fox is played in a trick, all face-up foxes are discarded immediately. If only one fox is revealed, the player that played the fox may then choose an opponent's face-up owl or rabbit in play as long as it matches the round's current terrain. To do this, they simply take the card they wish to score discard their fox, and place the card they've captured face up in front of them in a scoring pile. After foxes, owls that are still in play and that match the lead suit are then scored. Owls may capture an opponent's face up rabbit matching the lead suit that's still in play, discarding the owl and adding the rabbit to their player's score pile. After owls come any rabbits in the lead suit that are left. They may take an opponent's kale card from the lead suit, in an instance where the opponent has played two kale in the lead suit, a player may use a single rabbit in a matching suit to score both kales. The player discards the rabbit and adds the kale card or cards to their score pile. The number three rabbits in each suit have a special ability. However, this ability is only active if the played rabbit matches the current round's terrain. This special ability allows the rabbits to take a kale left on the table even if the kale doesn't match the round's terrain. Finally, any Kale cards in the round's terrain that remain at the end of the round are added to their player's own scoring pile. It is important to emphasize that a player may not capture one of their own cards. Any cards that are discarded after a round are no longer used for the remainder of the game. At the end of the round, check to see if either player has seven cards in their score pile. If so, the game ends. If not, each player draws two cards from their personal draw deck. Once both players' draw decks are empty, the game continues just with no more cards being drawn. If both players completely run out of cards in their hand before either of them has scored seven cards, this also ends the game. Otherwise, another round is played, and the player that was not the starting player in the previous round becomes so in the next. When one of the two end game conditions is met, players score the cards in their score pile. All cards indicate their point value at the bottom of the card. Owls are worth 2 points, and rabbits are worth between 1 and 3 points. 
Kale cards score points based on the amount that a player collects. Players can score at most 5 Kales in a single round. As an optional variant, you can play with Dale's Kale. If a player does not have a card of the lead terrain, they may play any card from their hand. If the card is a Kale, it may be played sideways. In this case, the Kale is now part of the lead terrain. When resolving the trick, surviving rabbits in the lead terrain may score the sideways Kale. If the sideways Kale survives, the player who placed the Kale can then score it. And that's how you play Fork with two players.